Welcome to the 10th lecture of Advanced Calculus course. In this lecture, we will learn about the con continuity of, <clears throat> of composite functions. This discussion will be quite short, shorter than the previous lectures, because we will deal a limited case of the continuity of com composite functions. So, what we would like to prove is that for a function f defined on the closed interval a to b to the closed interval c to d is continuous at a point u that is an element of course of the domain of the function and G, a function defined on uh, on the closed interval C to D, a, a the same set, the codomain of F to the set of all your numbers is continuous at F of U, which is again, of course, in the domain of the function G. Then, the function g composite f from a to b to the set of all your numbers is continuous at u. This notation means that this is a composite function, meaning that g composite f of x is equal to a value uh, value of f evaluated at x is evaluated for uh, function g to get a function value for this composite function. So, th so this is what uh, the composite function means. And we will see that this is continuous at u, uh, a certain point in the do domain of f, such that its image is uh, at its image g is also continuous. Now, how do we prove this? The proof is quite easy. Proof. Oops. Proof. Uh, let's say un is a converging sequence that converges to u. A sequence in defined in the domain of function f. Since f is continuous at u, we know that f of un converges to f u, f of u. Now, since we know that G is continuous at F of U, we know that G of F of U N converges to value G of F of U. So we obtain that the function G composite, composite F is continuous at u because any sequence that any sequence u sub n in the domain of the function g composite g composite f uh, if any sequence in the domain converges to a certain number u the function value of g composite f would also converge to the same uh, the corresponding value therefore we have proven that a composite function is also continuous if the functions that are being <clears throat> that are in the composite function is both continuous this is the end of the 10th lecture it was quite short shorter than the previous lectures and in the next lecture we will discuss the definition of limit and differentiation see you at the next lecture